What's up, my new friends? So you might have realized there is a new banner in the recruit section, and it's called targeted recruitment banner. So you might think these are the rate up units. For example, you summon on these banner, there's a high amount of chance that you can get Nobio, Sensa, Karen, or Rurio, or maybe on the next banner, Siobhan, Hiro, Megard, and Hedy. But there is no rate up. Yes, rate up is a lie, actually. So why? The thing is, the banner is pretty confusing by showing you the units that is pretty much strong on the front page, but in fact, it's a banner that you can summon all forest units, and there is no specific rate up, it's just smaller pool of units. So for example, on the forest banner, you can get every single forest unit and only forest unit. So you can get Sioban, Hedy, Paloma, Barrow, Hero, Nikinus, Gabriel, and Megard. This board don't have any rate up. So don't confuse yourself with the image shown here. But after saying all that, should you summon on these banner? Well, there's two scenarios where you want to summon. Scenario number one, you are a brand new player with no team yet. So you just started a fresh new account. Your RM box is pretty much empty and you don't have much units. So you want to build a team. This is actually a really good banner for you to start because mono team are very strong. Mono team are basically a team consists of five of the same element units. And usually they will have two or three converters. So you can uh, utilize the fact that you are a mono team. You can walk on one color tile and attack five times because you have five of the same color unit so if you want to build a mono team and you are new you have no units yet this banner are good and i think the forest one is the best because it has more of the good units for example forest so let's see the forest unit so forest we have shivan which is good and hedy is okay paloma a great sniper barrel it's a mediocre detonator but it's still a decent one hero insane unit both convert and do high damage Nikinus, she's a 4 tower converter, great unit to have, especially in the mono team. Gabriel, Gabriel is fine, she has some use. Megar is a very strong cyber that has the ability to teleport. And if you're able to get the max breakthrough, she is insane. But yeah, that's a whale category. So pretty much every single 6 star on the forest unit are very strong. So if you want to go for any of this banner, I would recommend the forest one. And not to mention the five star also have a lot of good option. Naruxel, a really good global teleporter that also cleanse the board. Araya, a really insane detonator, probably one of the best pack. Another four tower converters, really good to have, especially in mono team. Sikari, a cross converters, really strong L maximum breakthrough, get you a lot of tiles right away. On breakthrough two, she's also quite okay usable Louise, she is a double chainer really strong if you want to make a burst team Odi, a very strong poison unit and pretty much essential if you want to build a damage over time team for certain fights Kakusta. Kakusta is not the best, but she has a very niche ability that can move enemy and sometimes you will want to use this. So Forest has a lot, a lot of great units you can get. Out of all the banners I see so far, Forest banner is the best. So yeah, that is scenario number one. Scenario number two, you are a veteran player and you lack more than 50% of the banner 6 stars that you want. What do I mean by this? So let's look at Fire for example. Fire is a bit special because he has 9 6 stars as opposed to other banner which only have 8 6 stars. So let's say you lack a lot of fire units but you want to build a fire team. Maybe you already finished your forest team and you're looking to you know make another color team so you can help out with certain fights. So let's look at the 6 star here. Nobio, a really good unit. Graham, pretty good. Smokey is great on breakthrough tree. Sensa, a very strong unit. Urio, another good unit on breakthrough tree. Charon, great unit. AC, great four tower converters. Victoria, mm, it's fine, but kind of get outclassed by Novio a little bit. Jonah is a okay sniper. So there's nine unit here. If you're a veteran player and you want to summon for fire team, I would suggest you at least want more than 50% of the units. So let's say you already have Sinsa and Charon, and maybe you already have a Smokey, Urio, and you don't want Jonah and Victoria, so you're only pretty much going for AC, Novio, and Graham, then I would not recommend it. 
because the chance of you getting the six that you don't want is pretty high and there's rotating recruitment banner which is 50 percent chance you get the unit you want and those are pretty much a better banner to chase for because you always have 50 percent chance to get the unit you want but these banner you have to understand that there is a chance you can just get unit you don't want right maybe unit you already have and let's look at water for example because water has a lot of bad units <laughs> so water have Connolly, which is not a great unit you want to have and it also have raphael which is another unit that is mediocre at best so they leave your ashram to be battle floor Colleen, Sharona, Dario, and Ruby. Out of these two, Battle and Fleur only need one copy. So if you already have Battle and Fleur, that leaves you to only going for Ruby, Colleen, Sharona, and Shariel. Now, this is still 50% because this is four units that you want and four units that you don't want. But let's say you already have Shariel. Then that means you're only going for Ruby, Colleen, and Sharona. And in that case, I will not recommend this. And you probably already see what I'm going for. 50% of the banner unit six stars that you want you can definitely go for this so that is a scenario where a veteran player should summon on these banners now the scenario where it should not summon is you only need one or two copies in the banner maybe to complete your team let's say you have a fire team pretty strong one you have like the best unit you have since uh Caron, um maybe ac and i don't know faust and you're lacking a great healer which is novio don't summon on these banner just because you want one or two units on the banner it's not worth it. it's better to wait for the rerun of the units banners from rotating recruitment banners and you might be saying now what about the five star there is five star in these banners and since the first temple guarantee you a five stars it's actually not a bad idea to go for the five star in these banners but a word of caution though the pt counter in this banner will not carry forward to your next rotating banner so even though you have a 95 percent pt on these banners you have to wait for the next targeted recruitment banner for you to use that pity so just a word of caution there if you want to you know use your 10 summon here because summoning on the rotating banner at least has the benefit of stop piling your pity just in case you know you're getting very unlucky and i would really really highly recommend you to only use the yellow star flip because remember guys first anniversary is coming soon and they might release really broken unit just like how they released bethlehem which i still think is one of the best water unit out there if you can get the second breakthrough so yeah be cautious and highly recommend to save your loot members and not use it on these banners after saying all that let us summon for the forest banner because believe it or not i'm actually lacking a lot of forest units and out of all those characters i obviously want hero the most if i can get two copies that is the best but i'll be happy if i just can get nikines or even a second Migard or even shivan it's fine i don't really want heady i already have one copies and getting another one only reduce the crew down by one which is eh paloma is a nice character to have and you only need one copies that is great as well i don't really want barrel but i wouldn't be sad if i get her so yeah a lot of good options here and i definitely do like forest unit the most so let us summon for forest units i'm gonna just straight away do a temple and see what i get really really hoping for a hero here and you know as a tradition when i complain the most i get the more six star so let's complain a little bit about the recent event so you might not realize this but apparently Turok took the eight slot away from us in the data desk i'm not too sure why Turok does this why give us the eight slot and then took it away and say it's an intended change it's very weird and i don't like where that is heading why took away quality of life from us what's the point of doing that Turok, can you tell us but let's get back to the summon since i complained i'm gonna get six star now right all right nope i guess not but five star is fine too there is definitely some five star i would like to have for example i would like to get a luis or sikari i wouldn't be sad if i get a pack as well and maybe a Rhea or narok cell i really do like to have one narok cell that would be nice okay we got wendy oh it's an independent narok cell woohoo yeah baby <laughs> that's what i've been waiting for that's what it's all about <laughs> a new narrow cell okay this is great uh i actually do want narrow cell because she definitely has a lot of potential 
being able to cleanse tiles because more and more the broken tiles and the the annoying effect of tiles getting more and more common these days so having a cleanser is definitely nice especially a cleanser that can also teleport and since we already got most of the <laughs> good showcase i'm just gonna skip the rest wow that's a lot of clover <laughs> all right so yeah that's about it hope this helped you and i'll see you all in the next video peace